Hi everyone, Becky here from Notes from the Sewing Room. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Today's video is all about a sewing challenge and it's hashtag selfless sew April 23 and it's being hosted by Sew for Serenity, My Social F Thread and Stitch Hem Sew. There are loads of prizes available and there are different categories to enter. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you what my sewing plans are or potential sewing plans, things I've been thinking about. I'd love your opinion on the stuff that I'm gonna be chatting about as well in terms of the fabrics that I've got to show you and the patterns as well. And of course, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit, a bit more about the challenge as well in case you would like to get involved. It's open to everyone worldwide and it's a fantastic challenge to get your teeth stuck into during April uh, and maybe you can sew yourself, um, sew something for someone else, should I say, not for yourself, for someone else because it's a selfless challenge um, during the month of April and then the reveal date is over on Instagram on the 30th of April. So not before the 30th of April but actually specifically on that date. But you can share pictures before if you would like of works in progress that you're doing as part of the challenge but you just have to use a slightly different hashtag and that one is hashtag selfless so April 23 WIP so that basically means work in progress so hopefully that's it I will put all those details down below in my comment section as well just in case you want to have a little look back at that so in terms of the different categories that you can enter as part of this sewing challenge there are that there is should I say men's wear, women's wear, and two different categories for children's wear. So you've got children's wear under two years old, and then children's wear over two years old as well. So lots and lots of different things that you could potentially make, but it has to be for a family member, a friend, um, a charity, basically someone else apart from yourself. Um, so yeah, lots, lots of things uh, that you could try in terms of sewing patterns. Um, it could be something you've already got in your stash at home. It could be something that you've been given. You know, the world is your oyster basically as, of this, as part of this challenge. So let me tell you some of the things that I've been considering making and I'm hoping Hopefully going to sew one of these things during the month of April to enter as part of the challenge. So I've got this gorgeous dinosaur fabric. So if I just hold this a little bit closer, this is going to be a project I'm going to do for my little boy, William. So he's two um, and uh, he loves anything to do with dinosaurs. <laughs> so I got this fabric from Merry Made Fabrics in Arleton, um, New Arleton, should I say, and that's in Nottinghamshire, but you can buy from them um, via Instagram or I think they've got a Facebook page and they've got a website. So yeah, yeah, lots of things that you can have a look at there. But um, yeah, this is really nice fabric. It's a cotton jersey. I would describe it as a medium weight. Um, it's got a nice amount of stretch in both directions. Um, and I've got a decent meter or so there, maybe slightly more than a meter. I bought this a little while ago, but it is still in stock if you'd like some. Um, I did have a little check. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to make a top with this. And if I've got some left over, you never know, maybe I might make some leggings as well. Um, but the top I'm thinking of making, I will put in a little bit of footage of the side so you can see what pattern I'm talking about. But it's by a company that I've never actually used before. And it's Poparita. Hopefully I'm saying the name of that correctly. Apologies if I'm not. And the t-shirt the is called the Himalaya t-shirt. It's a gorgeous little top. It's got a little uh, collar, which is something that I've not done for William before, uh, which I thought might be quite fun to try. It's available in sizes birth three to 10 years old. So you can basically just um, download this and keep, you know, um, tracing the pattern out so that you can make it again and again as your child grows or if you're making it for someone else's child or maybe a few different children um you know basically just to get full value out of that pattern the instructions actually say i'm just having a little look at my ipad here that it's um so neat and perfect in any season and it's got long or short sleeves that you can try it has got a collared yoke but they do say that it's fast and easy to do so We'll see, <laughs> I suppose, when I actually start to put it together. Um, but if it is, then, you know, if I like it, no doubt I will probably make more in the future. But I like that this has got quite a big size range in terms of, you know, ch children's sizes. And um, I like that I can have a go at doing this in a cotton jersey, which is one of my favourite fabrics to sew with. Um, but perhaps when I've made it, I might think that another type of jersey might work very nicely as well. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing this one. So I'll let you know how I get on. Pattern number two that I'd like to try at some point soon 
Not sure if I'm going to get it done during April, but at some point soon, I would like to do these Taylor dungarees. Um, and these are by the Sewing Sanctuary. So I actually bought this pattern from the Stitch Festival that I went to, which was in Harrogate late last year. Um, so but it's, a, it's a lovely pattern um, and it's available in sizes age three through to age 10. Um, so as I said, William is two, but he is quite tall. Um, and I always think it's quite nice to make him things that have got a little bit of growing room as well. So I think age three will be fine. Um, so I'm gonna have a go at doing these, um, but I just think it's a really nice woven pattern um, to try. Sorry, the light's kind of shining on the pattern a little bit there, but hope you, hopefully you can see what it looks like. So um, they're actually finished with some buttons um, just to um, finish off the straps, to make the straps close. I think they've got a couple of button closures down the side of the hip area. Um, you can put some pockets onto the back area. If you'd want to, you probably can't see that very well. Um, you can add a patch pocket at the front if you'd like to. So not sure how I'm gonna get on with this one because it's the first time that I'll ever have made anything woven for William. I usually do stretch patterns for him because I usually think that they're easy to wear, comfortable for him and, you know, great for nappy changes and all that stuff. Um, but this is gonna be a little bit different for me. So I've actually got some chambray fabric here, which I originally bought for myself. Um, but I've decided that perhaps it's, it's not for, for me. I, I can't remember what I had in mind to, to do with it, maybe a shirt dress or something. Um, but you know, you order something online and you think, oh, it wasn't really exactly what I, what I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I've actually got a, a good couple of meters of this um, chambray fabric. So this is gonna be perfect, I think, to try out that dungaree pattern. And I've also picked out some fat quarters as well, um, which I've got from previous So Hayley Jane subscription boxes. So I thought if there is any facing bits or um, any inside fancy bits that I need to do to finish off the dungarees, then they might work quite nice and add a little bit of a new dimension to um, the finishing of this pattern. Um, but I think because this is a chambray fabric, it's gonna be a nice sort of lightweight garment for William to wear over the summer months as well. So fingers crossed, this one's gonna work out okay because like I said, it's a bit of a new venture for me. I've not tried anything like this before. In fact, I've not actually made any dungarees at all um, that are in a woven uh, fabric, not even for myself. So. Um, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it and sometimes it's good to push yourself out of your comfort zone, isn't it? So yes, fingers crossed it all works out. If you have made this pattern or any of the patterns that I'm mentioning in today's vlog, then do let me know. Um, and I'd love to know if you're getting involved in this challenge too. Um, let me know what you're planning to make. And of course, if you're not getting involved in the challenge, but you just like to share um, what you're sewing up this week or this month as well, I'd love to know. So do leave me any messages that you'd like to down in the comment section. Um, so the final pattern that I was going to share with you is something that um, I've had for quite a while in my stash and William keeps seeing this pattern and asking me to make it for him. So I'm definitely going to have to do it at some point. Again, maybe not during the month of April, um, but this challenge has kind of made me think I've really got to get around to doing this at some point. So this is a simplicity pattern and it's number 1032A. Um, so if I just hold it up there, so it's more of a dressing up type outfit. So there's a cat that you can make, a unicorn, a penguin or a dog. And William would love me to make the penguin for him. So I think the thing that's putting me off about doing this pattern is that there's quite a few different contrasting fabrics there. And I'll be honest, I'm not really sure where to buy the fabrics from to make sure that they're a good quality um, and they're going to kind of kind of, they're gonna stand up to going in the washing machine loads of times. Do you know what I mean? Because as a toddler, he gets things down him all the time, beans, orange juice, anything that's going, basically he's gonna end up down this costume. So I need to be able to keep putting it into the washing machine and the fabric needs to be okay with that and it's not gonna go all bobbly and horrible because this is probably gonna take me a little bit of time to make. So I want to make sure that you know we've got a little bit of time that he's going to be able to play in it um, as in you know a number of months kind of thing he has got a couple of other dress up suits that he really likes to wear so i do feel like he would enjoy this it's just a case of where do i buy those fabrics from and exactly what kind of fabric do i use i was thinking some kind of heavy fleece or something like that but i've um I've bought fleece before online and it's not been that great when it's arrived. It's been quite thin um, and certainly wouldn't have worked well for this project. So in terms of the fabrics that it suggests, it says double faced fleece, fleece, minky fleece, 
And then for the hood lining, you could use different types of cotton, maybe a flannel, um, that kind of thing. I just say it's not suitable for sleepwear, but that's fine because it's basically a dress up costume um, as far as we're concerned. So, um, but if you've got any ideas in the UK where I could buy fabrics for for this type of thing then do let me know and perhaps you've bought some for a costume that you've made and you thought that they were pretty good so I'd love any recommendations so do leave me a message down below and if you've had a go at making this also do let me know how easy or not it was um I've not made a costume before like this so I'm a little bit nervous about trying it in case it completely goes wrong and I've spent loads of money on buying fabrics so um yes let me know what you think anyway. So that's that one. Um, so that's all of my sewing plans for um, this so selfless sewing challenge. So I hope you've enjoyed um, hearing about what I've got to share with you. Don't forget if you um, have enjoyed watching my channel today or you're perhaps new here, I'd love it if you could subscribe. That would be amazing. Don't forget to press that notification bell as well and then you won't miss any of my future content. I'm currently working on a spring capsule wardrobe. So that basically means I've got a number of different garments that I'm making that are gonna mix and match together. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you as soon as all those things are ready. Um, and of course, I've got lots more exciting content coming up on my channel as well as that. So um, if you um, do watch week after week, I really appreciate it. And I always love it when you press that like button as well, because that encourages YouTube to share my videos with other people that enjoy sewing and crafting and upcycling and all the things that I talk about on this channel. But until next time, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!